It's Friday, fool! And you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday Fool, You Need This Tool. My name, Kyle Voss, and every Friday, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. Hmm, got a little different look going on today. We've got the C10 in here, got the Bibster in here, got the Goose on the other side. I'm running out of room. Well, this week's tool involves something I know that you have seen. You may not have known the name of it, but I know you've seen it because they're everywhere. And that is the Weather Pack Connector. So, Weather Pack Connectors aren't nothing new. They are an aftermarket connector, electrical connector, that is very similar to what is used in the automotive industry. So, if your car has a connector in it, a weather pack connector is just the aftermarket of that, right? Something like that. They come on all kinds of aftermarket components. If you've ever had an MSD or uh, some kind of standalone ECU in your car or really anything electrical has some form of these aftermarket connectors. Now this particular one is a weather pack connector. These are what I like to use. These are what a lot of people like to use. They work very well to keep out the moisture, keep your connections nice and secure and latched. They're very nice looking. It just makes the overall project that you're working on a lot better. I did a Friday video on a tool a while back that was used on these weather pack connectors. This tool here, this tool is mainly used to take them apart. So say you needed to take some wires out of this one and put in another one. This tool helps you take these wires out of this connector. But that doesn't help you if you want to put a harness together. Now, in order to install weather pack connectors on your custom harness, there is a special tool that you need to do it the right way. And that is this crimper here. So these crimpers are specifically made for crimping the terminals that go in these weather pack connectors. And if you're not familiar, these connectors come in one, just one wire at a time. They can come two wires at a time, three wires at a time, four, six. You can get really big ones. So really they're made for whatever you might be using them for. When I buy them, I just buy them in bulk online. You get a bunch of connectors. It also comes with the rubber pieces that go on the inside that basically seal it and the wire terminals themselves. There's a whole pack of the rubber seals and the terminals. So after you buy your connectors and the terminals, you gotta have this terminal wrench, these terminal pliers, crimpers. These terminal crimpers, you have to have these in order to do the job right. I've seen people not use them, but really, if you're gonna spend the money on some weather pack connectors, you really need to get the proper tools to install them, right? I mean, you went that far. So, on each terminal, there are two sections that need to be crimped. There is the main crimp on the actual wire itself, and then there's a secondary crimp that crimps the rubber seal piece to the terminal too. These crimpers will do both. So you can see when it's shut, there's a hole on this side, there's a hole on that side. Both of those are for the crimping the rubber pieces. The three in the middle are for crimping the actual terminals themselves. The first one is for crimping anything from 24 to 22 gauge wire. The second one is for 20 to 18 gauge wire. And the third one is for 16 to 14 gauge wire. Now I don't know if you can see it, but the way these things are designed, 
is one end is slightly different than the other end. One end is made to kind of roll that terminal around and pinch down on that wire. That's why it's important to have these things. I really love using these things on all my projects. It's just one of those things that kind of takes your project to the next level. And you show up and there's a bunch of spliced wires and electrical tape and AutoZone connectors. It just looks like an AutoZone job. You get a pack of these, you wire your setup, and uh, it looks really good. It's gonna keep everything nice and sealed, not gonna have any problems. And really, they're not that crazy expensive. As I always do, I'll drop you some links in the description where you can find these, some of your weather pack connectors, and hell, I'll even throw this tool in there. There you go, guys. This week's tool, the weather pack connector, and the proper crimp tool to install them. As always, thank you for joining me, and I'm sure I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool!